Oh, everything smells so good. Oh, I had to make your favorite pasta. It is your special day after all. Oh, no one's supposed to be here this early. Can you check on that, sweetie? Yeah. Thanks. Dad! Hey, happy birthday, mijo! <laughs> It's humongous. Can I open it now? Um. Uh, no, you need to wait until everyone gets here. You better go change. You don't have a lot of time. Okay. Hello, Heidi. Rob, you're early. Yeah, well, I wanted to spend extra time with Andy. Is that a problem? It's fine. I'm getting everything ready, so try not to mess anything up. I want everything to be perfect. What? And I don't? Oh, this is so typical. Desde el momento que llego, tú siempre... Can we not argue, please? Put your gift on there. I haven't even been here a minute, and you're already telling me what to do. It's like we're married all over again. Ay, por favor. You're taking sleeping pills, Heidi? Uh, can you not go through my things? I'm having a tough time sleeping, okay? You know those aren't good for you. Ay, please. Mmm, you always did make the best cannolis. Hey, don't even think about it. Oh, come on. Let me just have one. Hey, we both know that you'll never stop at one. You'll end up eating them all. Hey, Dad, look at my new pants. Hey, look at that. We're matching. <laughs> so what have you been up to, buddy? Well, if you spent more time with him, you'd know. Andy, honey, tell him about the new Minecraft world you're building. Oh, yeah. I finally made my first custom map, but I need help programming the new command blocks. Well, it's a good thing your dad's a tech entrepreneur. <clears throat> Come on, show me the code. You're the best. Of course. <laughs> All right, everyone. Lunch is served. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh. You always make amazing food, Heidi. I don't know how you do it. Well, 17 years as a chef certainly does help. <laughs> um, Andy, honey, since you're the birthday boy, you can go first. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> I think someone's knocking. Oh, that's odd. Everyone's here already. Actually, that's for me. I'll get it. Thanks. Yeah. Mijo, look what I got. Minecraft cupcakes, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to have your lunch first, Andy. Finish making your plate. Man, fine. <gasps> what are you doing? I might not be an amazing chef like you, but my company did just make a custom catering app. I figured this was a good chance to test it out. What's the problem? Why are you always trying to one-up me? What do you mean? I spent hours making those cannolis, and now he's probably not going to even eat them. Well, it's not my fault. He likes my desserts better than yours. Mijo, put one of these in your plate. You can eat it after you're done with your pasta. Thanks, Dad. These look amazing. Of course. Oh, can I have one? Oh, me too? Of course. There's enough for everyone. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You're gonna have two. Uh, there's a the green one. one. Yeah, you can have a yellow one, a green one. Is what do you want? From grandma and grandpa. I got a hundred bucks. Oh, make sure you call them later to thank them. I will. Is this from you, Mom? Mm-hmm. Oh, Minecraft Legos, all right. I had to go to three toy stores just to find that one. I really like it. Thanks, Mom. Of course, honey. All right, all right, come on, open my next. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. How'd you, I wanted this exact one. Let's just say it was fatherly intuition. <laughs> really, Rob, fatherly intuition? Well, my assistant may or may have not found it on his Amazon wish list. Oh, she's a lifesaver. I spent so much time looking for my gift, and you just had your assistant get you yours? Work smarter, not harder. Hey, mijo, don't forget to look at the card that comes with it. <gasps> what? 
Legoland tickets? <laughs> yep, one for you and one for me. Oh, we're gonna have such a blast next weekend. Next weekend? But he's supposed to be with me next weekend. Oh, I forgot to mention. I have to go out of town at a tech conference on the 15th. So I'm gonna have to switch weekends with you. But I already promised I'd take him to the arcade. Well, then I guess you're gonna have to change your plans for another weekend, right? Oh, I have to change my plans. You have to change your plan. Uh, can I open my neck? Just a second, buddy. I'm trying to convince your mother to let you go to Legoland. Oh, no, don't make me sound like a bad guy here, Rob. You're the one changing the weekend. Oh, come on, Heidi. It's his birthday gift. Just let him enjoy it. How about I go with mom to the arcade on Saturday, then I go with dad to Legoland on Sunday. Fine. That works for me. That's fine. Good thinking, Andy. It's like what our teacher said. It's always better to work together than against each other. All right, honey. I'm gonna open the next one. I can't beat this level. Ugh. It's okay, honey, just try again. I'm actually kinda hungry. Do you have any snacks? Oh, um, you know what? I don't have any cash. Let me run to the car real quick. Did someone say they needed some cash? <laughs> Dad! Hey, buddy. Oh. You're early again. I still have a half hour with him. Is it really that big of a deal? Yes, it is, because you have him all night tonight, all day tomorrow, let me have my time with him. Oh, all right. I'll go get some coffee or something. We'll be back in 30. Wait, no, Dad, I don't want you to go. Can you actually help me with this level? It's really hard. I remember this game. Yeah, I can help you. You always do this, taking my time away from him. It's like you do it on purpose. You plan exactly when to get here just to get under my skin so that you can stay, take my time away from it. It's just Take over me, give me three seconds. You have him 90% of the time. Is it really that big of a deal? Well, if you plan better, you're welcome to see him more. But don't tell me you're- Mom, Dad, can you please stop arguing? Everybody's watching. <clears throat> Game over. What? I lost again? <sighs> Here, mijo. Go see if you can break this. Can I keep the change? You know what? Yes. Absolutely not. He's never gonna learn the value of money if you keep spoiling him. Give the change back to your dad. Ah. Uh. Ah. Thanks for making me look like the bad guy once again. Why, you make yourself look bad. Oh, what are you even doing here? I told you I would drop him off at your place when we were done. I am saving you both time by coming here. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, don't even act like you're doing me any favors. You're just trying to take my son away from me. Well, he's my son too. And for the record, he likes being with me a lot more than with you. That's only because you give him whatever he asks. If it wasn't for that, I bet you he'd rather be with me. Well, why don't we just ask him then? Okay, fine! Okay, fine! Fine! Oh, All right. Andy! Where'd he go? Um, you seen my son? He came here asking for change? Uh, he just walked out with some guy in a hoodie. What guy? I don't know. I didn't have change. He offered to break 100. I think they're at his car. <gasps> Andy! 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 Oh, Andy! No! Hey, where are you going? With my son? Your son? What are you talking about, lady? You can't kidnap my son and get away with it. Come on, Andy, let's go. Dad, what's going on? I don't know. Will you just leave us alone, lady, will you? Uh, but he looked, I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh, where could he be? This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one that told him to walk away. Yeah, because you kept trying to argue with me. Well, this is not the time to argue. We need to find Andy. Oh, okay, okay, let's, uh, let's split up and then we can cover more area. You go that way and... Oh, this is not the time to take a work call. It's a blocked number. Maybe he found somebody's phone and is trying to call us. Hello, Andy. Listen carefully because I'm only going to say this once. Who are you? Andy's with us give it back under two conditions. One, do not call the police or your son will face the consequences. Two, give us $1 million by 7 p.m. 
We'll call you later with further instructions. Wait, 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 let me talk to my... Oh my God, where could he be? What are they gonna do with him? We need to call the cops right now. You heard what the person said? I don't want anything happening to Andy. We don't know what this person is capable of. Well, then we have to go to the bank right now. Just, just give me a second. Let me think. <gasps> Call him back. Maybe he'll answer. I can't. It's a blocked number. Well, do something. Aren't you a tech entrepreneur? This is not the time to... Wait, I, I just got an idea. What are you going to do? I'll tell you in the car. Come on, let's go. Vamanos. Are you sure this is going to work? A year ago, my company created an app that helps you identify blocked numbers for the police department. Luckily, I still know the source code. All I have to do is... Bingo! Thankfully, he was using an iPhone. Whose house is that? I don't know. But this is where the calls came from. It's only a few blocks away. So now we call the cops. I don't want to risk anything happening to Andy. Let's scope out the house and go from there. Come on. Oh, you don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. Let's go. <sighs> That's the house. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta be him. So what do we do now? Knock on the door? No, that's way too dangerous. What if he has a gun? Well, how do we know this is even the guy? I mean, how do we know your programming even works? Oh, he's calling again. See, I told you my program works. How could you sit there and answer it? Hello? You have three hours left to send me the money in Bitcoin. I'll text you my wallet ID. Listen here, the only way that I'm going- Or else. Oh, he hung up again. Well, at least we know it's him. Yeah. But now we need to get inside. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Come on, let's go. I hope she doesn't think we're trying to break in. I mean, that is what we're trying to do. I just wish it was delivering to that house because then we could just- That's it! What? I figured out how we could get inside. All I need to do is get back to my kitchen. Kitchen? You said it yourself. I make the best cannolis. All I need to do is add a little sleeping. Wow. That's actually brilliant. Do you really think he's gonna go for it? If he has your willpower, 100%. Yeah? Um, that'll be fourteen ninety two. What are you talking about? For the food. I didn't order any food. Uh, maybe somebody else. Did. Is anyone else in here? No. I'm sorry, but you must have the wrong actress. Oh man, um, that's the second time today. Oh, you can just keep them. No, I'm good. I don't want them. Are you sure? My boss is just gonna throw away the cannolis when I get back. I said no. I... Uh, wait, did you say cannolis? Mm-hmm. With a handmade filling and chocolate chips inside. Mm. Well, if you're just gonna throw them away then... <laughs> <laughs> of course. Guess I might as well take them. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy. I can't believe you got him to take them. No one turns on my cannolis. Do you think we should have put more sleeping pills in them? Oh, no. Not unless we're trying to... Oh. I put plenty. Okay. How long do you think we have to wait until he, um, falls asleep? 
I mean, I take one and I'm out in like 30 minutes. With as much as I put in them, even if he takes just one bite, he'll be out in 15 tops. Oh. You know, when we're not fighting, we actually make a pretty good team. Well, then maybe you should stop making me mad all the time. He's out. This one's open. Um, ladies first. to rescue you. Come on, let's go. Uh, what are you guys doing here? How do you get my house? Get back or I will call the cops. Call the cops? I'm the one who should be calling the cops on you guys for breaking and entering. It's okay, Liam. They're Andy's parents. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, you guys know each other? Andy, you need to tell them what's going on. Tell us what? Andy, what's happening? You guys mind giving us a moment? Mom, Dad, I sorta kinda tricked you guys. What do you mean tricked us? I didn't really get kidnapped. I've just been upset about you two fighting all the time. That I asked Max's brother Liam to help me teach you guys a lesson. So all of this was staged. No. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in, Andy? We were about to call the police! I'm sorry. I just really wish you guys can get along. I didn't know how else to do it. And we get along sometimes. Oh, really? When was the last time? At your birthday party, we... No, not that time. Oh, at your junior baseball game. We... Mm -mm. No, not that time either. Oh, gosh. I guess we really are fighting all the time. The last couple hours is the most we've gotten along probably in months. If not years. I didn't realize our arguing affected you this much, Andy. I hate watching you guys fight or compete over me. I want you to know I love you both the same. I feel so bad now. You were right. It's always better to work together than against each other. I agree. Thank you for letting us see that. Gosh, we're very sorry, Andy. And I'm sorry for tricking you guys. Come here. <laughs> Someone brought us cannolis. No! Don't eat those! I put sleeping pills in them. I'm so sorry. Huh. So that's why Liam went back to sleep. Oh, shoot. I feel so bad. They should wear off soon. I, I can bring you fresh baked ones to make up for it. Minus the sleeping pills. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> oh! Did you get everything, honey? I think so. Well, have fun at Legoland. Oh, oh wait, I almost forgot something. Wait here, wait here. I have to say, we raised a very good kid. Yeah, well, he is my son after all. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you sure you need that? You got a tablet at my place. I know. I just wanted to show you guys something. A Legoland ticket? But your dad already bought two tickets. This is the third one for you, Mom. I used Grandma and Grandpa's birthday money to buy it for you. That was so nice of you, honey. But I can't go. I can't get in the way of you and your dad's special day. Actually, you wouldn't be. I think it'd be a lot more fun if you came. Are you sure? Yep. That was a very good idea, Andy. So what do you say? I guess we're all going to Legoland. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... I won't do it at Legoland, I promise. <laughs> Vámonos. <laughs> mm. Get your eggs and your pancakes. Thank you. Can I get you folks anything else? Can I have a milkshake, Mom? Sure, honey. One chocolate milkshake, please. I want a milkshake, too. Raina, you know your budget is $5. You already spent that on your eggs. Just one milkshake is fine. I'll be right back. But how come he gets to have pancakes and a milkshake? But I don't. I have told you this a million times. He is my real son. And you are just a foster child. You don't get the same things he gets. Because I am his real mom. Well, where's my real mom? I want to see her. She told me she'd come back for me one day. Well, she lied. She probably doesn't even care about you. And you are lucky to have me. But I don't want to hear another word. Oh, when the social worker arrives in a few minutes, I will tell her I don't want you anymore either. You understand? Yay, I won! Can I see? Sure. Travis, I told you not to give Rainy your iPad. Then she's gonna want one too. Sorry, Mom. Can I get the iPad? Just for a little bit? I want to play too. I think you already know the answer to that. No. You know, taking care of you is a business. I need to make money off of you. I can't be buying you expensive things like an iPad. And what if you break it? You have any money to fix it? Any money at all? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, here's one delicious milkshake. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Mmm, that is so good. Mm. <laughs> Can I try? No. That is for Travis. If he has any left when he's done, you can have some. But I really want my old milkshake. You need to be more appreciative, Raina. My contract for taking care of you is up. So when the social worker comes, I'm gonna tell her to place you somewhere else and you'll end up all alone. Is that what you want? No. Mm. <laughs> I just want to be with my mom. She said she'd come back for me. <laughs> she gave you up. <laughs> and she probably never even loved you. That's not true. My mom loves me. I just know it. If that's true, then she'd be here right now, wouldn't she? Is she here? No. Exactly. Raina! Mom! Oh, I've missed you so much. I thought you forgot about me. Oh, sweetheart, you're all I think about. I've come to take you home. Really? Just wait a second. Why did you bring her here? She can't just take Raina back after she chose to abandon her. Oh, she's Raina's birth mother. She's fully entitled to be here. And for the record, 
I didn't just abandon her. I had no choice. You see, Rena had a very tough childhood. Her father had a big drinking problem. And whenever he had too many drinks, he would get aggressive and hit her for no reason at all. I would try to stop him, but then he would just let his anger out on me. I would worry about Raina constantly. I knew it wasn't safe for her to be there. So one night, I packed Raina's things and we left. I took her to foster care. It was the hardest day of my life. Saying goodbye to my only child. <sighs> but I knew I had to do it for her own safety. So you see, I didn't choose to abandon her. Everything I did was for her. I am so sorry, honey. He's not around anymore. You don't have to worry about him. Don't be sorry. I know you just wanted the best for me. I love you so much. I love you too. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, so that was really a sad story. But Raina is still my foster child and I have a contract on her. So you can't just come in here and take her away from me. Had a contract. It expired today. Well, then I want to renew it. I need her to pay my bills. I need the money from foster care to pay my rent. All right? Look, I'm sorry, but it's not up to you. It's up to her. Hey, Reyna. <laughs> I know you want that iPad. I'll get it for you. If you choose me. I choose my real mom. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's go home. We can get a milkshake before we go. Oh, of course, honey. Whatever you want. Hey, Maria. I'm really busy right now. What's up? Hey! I was just wondering what time you're going to be done with work. Caleb got all A's on his report card, and I thought it would be fun to go out and celebrate. Well, I didn't know that they gave a report cards to fifth graders. Well, Richard, he's in sixth grade. He just started middle school. All right, well, you know, uh, I don't know. Probably going to get done around 11. Midnight's the latest? Midnight? Do you plan on spending any time at home this week? Maria, it has been so crazy around here. You know that. Four people just got laid off. Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm really starting to get worried. No, it's going to be fine. They're not going to get rid of somebody like me. Well, can you at least congratulate Caleb over the phone? Sure. Here, it's your dad. Hi, Dad. Uh, I got uh, all these on our report card. You did? That's fantastic. Hey, buddy. Look, I gotta go, all right? Okay. Hey, what's up, Earl? Can we go to my office? I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure. Is Dad gonna be home soon? I wanna show him my report card. He's just been working. Dad, look. Wow. Good job, bud. You're home early. Yeah, well, not by choice. What does that mean? They, uh, let me go. 
They can't do that, right? Honey, you've worked for that company for over 20 years. Well, they did. And they shut the whole factory down. I don't know what we're gonna do. We are going to be fine. Okay, we're gonna figure something out. Um, we've got some money in savings and I can always pick up extra shifts at the salon. Yeah, well then, who's gonna watch Caleb? You can. You're gonna be home. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm gonna make you a plate. Maria, I can't watch the boy. All right, I'm gonna be out looking for jobs. Okay, all of that is done at home now. Most interviews are done online. Oh, come on, I can't do that kind of stuff. I don't know how the online thing works. Well, now that you're gonna be home more often, maybe you could learn. I doubt it. Just a thought of me looking for a job, man. It's just stressing me out. I remember the last interview that I went on? I don't even think they had computers. Okay. Well, what if, what if you didn't have to interview? What if you started your own business? I mean, come on. Okay, come on. Look, we talked about it all the time when we were first married. Maybe now is your chance. I can't start a business. I mean, what am I gonna sell? Well, I don't know. Well, you can make anything with your hands. Maybe you could build something and sell it, like furniture or something. Times have changed, Marie. Everything's run by machines now. All the factories are all automated. They need somebody to understand the technology. I, I need a new career. I need a new job. And you will find one. Hey, hey, you will find one, okay? Go. You know, I have faith in you. It's like my mom says, when things feel like they're falling apart, they may actually be falling into place. Well, maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Well, and in the meantime, since you're home, you can spend some time with your son. What are we supposed to do together? <laughs> I don't know, I think you'll figure it out. Come on, Caleb. I'm a little busy right now. What are you doing? Playing computer games? No, I'm looking for a new job so I can go back to work. I don't get it. Why do you want to work so much? I don't want to work. I have to work. It's part of my responsibilities. Well, I kind of hope that you don't find a job. And why is that? Because I like having you here with me. My plane! Can I go to the store to buy a new one? No, Caleb. Why don't you go play with one of your other toys? But it's my favorite! Out of all the toys that you have, this one's your favorite. Let me see that. If I fix this for you, will you leave me alone for a couple hours so I can focus? You can fix it? <laughs> I can fix a lot more complicated things than this. Let me go get my tools. Awesome! There it is. This is it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to smooth out the edges, okay? All we have to do now is put on a little propeller. Just give that a spin. Nice. Where'd you learn to fix things, Dad? Well, when I was a kid, uh, I used to have toys just like that and I would break them and my dad would fix them for me and I was just watching them. Just like you are. Anyway, uh, what we have to do is, is put a little bit of this glue, wood glue on there. All right, right around the edges, just a little tiny bit. Just hold it like that. You got it? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's it, so wait till it dries and then you can play with it again, okay? Thanks, Dad. You got it. Look, I'm gonna go into my room for a couple hours and job hunt, okay? Yes. Um, no, I wouldn't say that I'm too familiar with that type of software. But I'm a really quick learner. 
Dad! Dad, my train's broken. I am so sorry about this. That's okay. I have little ones of my own. I completely understand. Aaron's coming over. Can you please fix it before he gets here? Uh, can you just hold on for just mm -hmm. one moment? Kayla, what are you doing in here? I'm in an interview, and you're embarrassing me. Um, Richard? Covering the camera with your hand doesn't... Mute the microphone. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Um, that's all the questions I had. I think we can wrap it up from here. Oh, really? Are, are you sure? Yes, sir. I think I have everything I need to know, and, um... We'll keep in touch. Okay, well, thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot, son. You may have just ruined that interview for me. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all right. I'm just gonna have to lock the door when I'm um, doing interviews from now on. I can show you where the mute button is. You know about this stuff? Of course. I know a lot about computers, but I don't really know a lot about fixing things, so can you please figure out what's wrong? All right, see what I can do. But no more interrupting me when I'm busy, deal? Deal. How'd you break this thing anyway? I was walking down the stairs and I dropped it. Oh my goodness. Looks like it needs a toy emergency. All right, I got just this thing for it. Thanks, you're the best dad. But, uh, don't you need this if you're gonna fix it? No. I got something planned for you. You'll see. Got you! Not a chance! Oh man. <sighs> Let's play something else. Okay. Like what? What I got here. A train with my name on it? Yeah. Yeah, luckily I had enough wood laying around, so. Wow, this is so cool. Where'd you buy this? My dad made it. He can make anything. Really? Do you think you can make me one too? With my name? I don't know, man. I don't have a lot of time, but maybe you can ask your dad to. My dad's an accountant. There's no way he'd be able to make something like this. But I really want one. Dad, can you please make Aaron one too? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not a toy builder. Plus, I have an interview with, like right now, so I gotta go. Guys, have fun. Don't worry. I'll get him to make you one. For reals? Thanks, man. So, hon, how's the job search coming? Not good. Everything requires software experience, and I can't even make a Zoom call work. Well, I mean, is that stuff you can learn? I don't know, Marie. I can build a house from scratch. Ask me how a spreadsheet works? Forget about it. Well, how about I spend a little time with you each day teaching you? Don't stress, okay? I'm sure the perfect job will come around. Hey guys, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, well, we're taking Richard out to celebrate Father's Day. That's nice. We're going out tonight. By the way, Aaron can't stop raving about that train that you made him. Thank uh, you for doing that, appreciate it. No problem. Wait, you made Aaron a train? Yeah, like the one that has my name on it. Oh, and my dad said that he's gonna make me another train that has guns and rocket launchers and a helicopter on it. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm impressed. It's not a big deal. It is for the kids. I was gonna ask you, ever since you made Aaron that train, my youngest son, Miles, keeps begging me for one. Oh, my dad can make him one. Kayla, it's not nice to put words in people's mouths. Look, I'm sorry, man. I, uh, I'm too busy right now looking for another job. Well, if this makes any difference, I'd be willing to pay you for it. And say, uh, $200? Make it worth your while. I couldn't take your money, man. I'd feel bad. But I appreciate the offer. You'd be doing me the favor. <laughs> Miles' birthday's coming up, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you change your mind, let me know, all right? Yeah, for sure. It's great seeing you guys. Good to see, see you, you, Dale. See you later. <laughs> Such a nice guy. What? Well, honey, if that's not destiny slapping you right in the face, I don't know what is. What are you talking about? Uh, honey, you love working with your hands and building things. Why not make toys? Oh, I don't know anything about that. I am a grown man. I am not a toy maker. Well, that's not a reason not to become one. Oh, I know all kinds of toys that kids like. I can help you. See, you've already got yourself a little business partner, Richard. Come on, it could be fun. Plus, you've already had your first customer. I don't have the time. Honey, 
you are unemployed and at home all day, I think you have the time. Okay, answer this for me. How many hours did it take you to build that train for Aaron? I don't know, like two. And how much did the materials cost in total? Not that much, why? Well, you were just offered 200 bucks for two hours of work. That's 100 bucks an hour. Your last job was only paying you 28, so you would be way better off. Yeah, but that's what people would be willing to give me. I can't just live off of one train. I know so many kids in my school who would want one, especially the new one with weapons. And we're not gonna be able to keep up on bills on just my salary for much longer. And like you said, all the new jobs are requiring software experience, so why not give it a try? What have you got to lose? Please, Dad. Fine. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> all right, after you're done making me the new train, uh, can you make me a new airplane too with weapons on it? Sure. Oh, and dollhouses. We need something for girls too. Of course. <laughs> after decades of talking about it, Richard finally decides to start his own business. The next day, instead of Caleb playing in one room and Richard working in another, the two of them start doing things together. With Caleb's help, Richard starts making some really cool toys. He starts off by making everything in his own garage. But as time goes on and sales start to trickle in, he rents out his own shop. Richard even decides to hire people and his company begins making all kinds of different things. When Marie isn't working at the salon, she helps by running an online store on Etsy. She puts all Richard's creations on it and before long, sales start exploding. Richard and his family can't believe it. A whole year passes and little did Richard know he was in for a big surprise. Well, I don't know what's a bigger reason to celebrate, the fact that it's Father's Day or the one year anniversary of your company. Our company, this was a team effort. Believe me, I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. <laughs> yeah, Dad would still be trying to figure out where the mute button is on his video calls. <laughs> nice. Well, and I would still be working long hours at the salon on my feet all day, and now I get to work from home running our online store, so. Yeah, I'm uh, glad it worked out. <laughs> Me too. I get to have dinner with Dad every night, plus I get new toys all the time. And everyone at school wants to be my friend now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here is your gift. Uh, this one is from Caleb. My gift is coming. Oh, thanks, Caleb. Look at that. The best dad I ever saw. <laughs> and it's a song. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Did you get one of the guys from the shop to make it? Nope. We had someone else make it. The only person I know that's better with their hands than you are. Who's that? The person that taught you everything. Grandpa! Dad! Hey, hey son! <laughs> Have a seat. When did you get into town? Uh, well, uh, Marie's been uh, been planning this for a while, and uh, she just flew me in here this morning. <laughs> guys, Surprise. this is the greatest Father's Day gift ever. Thank you, guys. I'm really proud of you, son. You know, it's unbelievable that the company has come this far in such a short... Well, it was only a, a, a year ago that I was worried about you losing your job. But uh, who would have figured it would turn out to be a blessing? Yeah, well, I... I guess it's uh, true what they say, you know? You know, when things are falling apart, they may actually be falling into place. <laughs> Amen to that. And we actually just crossed a million dollars in sales. <laughs> How does it feel to be running your own company and, and, and making all that money? Ah, well, the money is great. I mean, it's probably the second best thing about this business. Oh yeah? Well, what's the first? Getting to spend time more with my family. Oh, honey. Love you, Dad. We love you so much. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to you. And uh, thank you for everything that you taught me. Well, the apple doesn't fall that far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? I, I might just move here and uh, go to work for you guys full time. And that way it would be a, a full uh, family affair. 
Yes, please do that, Grandpa. I actually think it's a really good idea. I mean, we would love to see you more. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure there's a couple of things that you can still teach me. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, the price of houses around here is a little... Um... That's right, but doesn't mean that we can't build something. Could you guys really build a house from scratch? Hey, come on. There's nothing your father and I couldn't do. True. Except about putting a spreadsheet together. <laughs> now that's something that I think these two would be yeah. great at. Yeah, we'll take care of that part. We've got, that. We've got it. Hey, I'm heading out. Pulling another all nighter for the McKenzie account? Mm, not tonight. He's the lead in her school play, so I'm gonna knock out a little early. Well, after the time you put in the last few months, you deserve it. Thank you. Hopefully it's all worth it. Mark has been dangling that promotion in front of me for over a year. You're his right hand. You get the BP job on the back. Don't even sweat it. Selfie to break leg. Bye. Fiona, what are you doing? Play is getting ready to start. I'm sure the teachers are asking everybody to take their mark. But what about mom? I'm sure she's on the way. He promised she'd make it this time. I know. Um, I bet she's stuck in traffic. I'll text her. The only thing I want you to worry about is remembering those lines. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, now get to your spot. Get to your spot. Emily, you're still here. That's great. Listen, uh, I got the research in for the McKenzie account. I need you to give me your notes by the end of the day. Oh, actually, I was just about to head out. My daughter has a school play tonight, remember? Mm, they're going to expect a response first thing in the morning. I need that tonight. I wish I could, but I promised my kid, and I can't let her down again. You know, Emily, I think your daughter will get over it. I mean, really, what's more important, uh, school play or your job? Now, if you want that VP position, I'm going to have to see that you're committed, and that's going to require some sacrifice. So, can I count on you? Or do I give that promotion to someone else that's going to put in the hours? I'll, I'll have the notes to you as soon as possible. Mm, that's what I like to hear. It's a little stuffy in here. To stop for wasted drops, so let the paint be spread. Oh, we're painting the roses red. And we're painting the roses red. Pardon me, Mr. Three. Why must we paint them red? The queen, she likes them red if she's so white instead. We'd be, be off with our heads. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. Did I miss it? You were supposed to be here two hours ago. Oh, baby. Something came up at work, and I just couldn't get out of it. That's what you always say. I tried texting what happened. I was getting ready to leave, and then Mark came into my office. You know how he is. Oh, listen, kiddo, I am really, really sorry about tonight. I would have never missed it unless it was work. It's hard sometimes when you're a grown up and you have to do things that you don't want to. I know tonight's a bummer, but I'm going to be there for so many other things, starting with our camping trip next weekend. <laughs> But what if work needs you? I already got the time off approved, and there's nothing they can do or say that would make me miss it. Just think, we're going to go hiking and swimming, yes. and we're going to sit around the fire telling scary stories ah, no, 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 no. <gasps> while we eat your favorite s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> Pink brownies. I promise. All right, almost done loading the car, and then we can go. Sounds good. I cleared my email, and I put my out-of-office message. We are on. Yes. 
Oh, you don't know how much I need this vacation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mom, when we get there, can we please hike to the waterfall? We can do whatever you want, Fee. Yay! <laughs> oh. Who was that? My boss. Oh, and ignore him. That guy has you working weekends, nights, holidays. He can survive without you for a few days. Now, yeah. turn your phone off. We're getting ready to go. Woo! Let's go. Just give me a second. It it shouldn't it shouldn't take too long. No. Mom. Hello. Um, baby girl, it's okay. Um, take that to the car. I'm right behind you. Hey, Mark. Good. Uh, Emily, you're there. Look, I got a call from the McKenzie Group, and they want to meet with you and uh, me over that report that you sent in. Can you be with us, let's say, at Giovanni's at uh, 1 o'clock? I, I can't. I'm on vacation. Well, reschedule, because I need you to come in. I, I need to spend time with my family, with my daughter. I put in this request ages ago. You, you approved it. Is there any way you can handle it or someone else can handle it until I get back? This is your biggest account, Emily. I don't understand the pushback on it. I'm, I'm not. It's just I haven't had a day off in over a year. And I've been planning this vacation for months. Emily, do you know how many days I've had off in the last three years? Zero, because that's what it takes to get ahead. What if I call into the meeting and attend remotely from, from a car or something? No, it's not gonna work. They wanna see you in person. Look, if you wanna prove that you're capable to be VP and that you, uh, you're loyal to the company, you'll be at Giovanni's. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, girl. I'll see you at one. So, uh, slight change of plan. Well, let me guess. You can't go. It's just one quick lunch meeting, and I can drive up and meet you guys after. You know, you always make plans with us, and then you bail at the last second. Sweetheart, it's work. I have no choice. Everyone has a choice. And actually, you have made yours. Fee, wait. I don't know what to do. And the worst part about it is that she's right. Now, call him back. He can't make these kinds of demands of you. You are entitled to life outside of work. It's not that simple. I could lose a promotion or get demoted or even fired. I just feel like in order to be a good employee, I have to fail as a mom. And in order to be a good mom, I have to fail as an employee. Em, you are amazing at your job. You are a wonderful mom, okay? It's this crazy guy with his crazy expectations. He expects you to be a robot and not have a life outside of work. That's how it was at my other job and the job before that. Answering emails after hours, being available 24 seven, and it's not just Mark. Everybody's like that. I just wish you and Fee should go. I have to deal with this work meeting. Have fun, okay? No, 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 no. We can wait for you. No, no, that's okay. Tell Fee I'm so sorry, and I'll talk to her later. I have to go get changed. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what would your recommendation be to address the higher turnover rates we've been experiencing? Mm -hmm. We praise salaries across the board, but still it only seems to have a slight impact on attrition. I've been giving that some thought and analyzing market trends, and I have some great suggestions that I think would be game changers for employee retention. Wow, I, I cannot wait to hear your ideas. You can grab that if you need, it's no problem. No, 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 it's okay. We put all our clients first, right, Emily? Right, right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, okay. I'm sorry, you, you don't mind if I take this. It's my husband and he's camping with our daughter and- Emily, we're in the middle of something. It's fine. 
I have a daughter too, so we completely understand. Yeah, no worries. Okay, thank you. So, as she was saying, just mm -hmm. this attrition thing this is just. <laughs> hey, is everything all right? What? Is she okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm so yeah. sorry. I have to go. My daughter fell and she's in the emergency room. Oh my gosh, is she okay? Um, it sounds like a broken arm, but I'll find out more when I get there. Is there anything we can do? Oh no, that's okay. But if you don't mind, I'll call you on Monday and then we can pick up right where we left off. Of course, Thanks. of course. Take your time. Take care of your daughter. Thank of you. Course. Your daughter's okay. I'll, I'll call you later, Mark. You know, could you just excuse me for a second? I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? This is your account. You need to get in there and try and salvage it if we can. What? I told you this is an important meeting. It's a million dollar client and this needs to be your priority. My daughter is in the hospital. Your husband is with your daughter, right? Oh, well, yeah. So you going down there, what's that gonna do? Make her heal faster? Your kid can wait. This can't. Look, do you have any idea what it looks like when you leave a meeting like that? For you, for the firm, it looks unprofessional. These people do not hire you to be a parent. They hire you because of your expertise. I told you, my child is in the ER. I, I don't have time for this. Emily, if you walk through that door, you can kiss that position as VP. Goodbye. My daughter is more important than any paycheck or promotion. I don't care about your threats anymore. I quit. You quit? With all the money we pay you? Good luck trying to find another job this good. V, there you are. Are you hurt? Are you okay? I came as soon as I... I'm sure you did. Sweetheart, I swear, when I got the call... You weren't there when I fell. I'm never here when I need you. Oh, honey... I know I've been dropping the ball lately, but you're the most important thing in the world. You always say that, and then work calls. Well, that won't be a problem anymore. I quit. What? Wait, what? What? I'll explain later at home, but the most important thing is that you come first, always. What about when you get a new job? Well, I won't take one that won't respect that I have a life outside of work. Because from here on out, it's family over everything. I promise. You mean it? See, I've always meant it. I just haven't been doing a good job at showing it. But now we're gonna have all sorts of time to spend together. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that means. Uh-oh. Oh, the ice cream we can eat tomorrow. Emily decides from that day forward to always put her family first. They all have so much fun together, hanging out and playing games with each other. After some time off, Emily begins looking for jobs that will allow her to make a great living while also spending a lot of time with her daughter. It doesn't take long for Emily to start landing lots of interviews. Everyone seems to be very impressed by her. But she quickly learns that everywhere she goes, the expectations are the same as her last job. Everyone wants her to give up her time with her family in order to put work first. She's unable to find a job that offers her the flexibility and the salary she needs to support her family. Eventually, bills begin to pile up 
and she can't help but think about asking for her old job back. Well, Emily, uh, you know, I wish I could say I was surprised when I got your email, but I'm not. I knew this would happen. Well, as I was saying, I know I can bring a lot to the table for this VP role. I refilled that position. For you, I was thinking like a junior manager. Junior manager? That's a huge step down from where I was before. The salary would be the same, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Look. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't happy to have you on board. I mean, you're a good worker. In fact, you're a great worker. I just got to make sure that you're completely committed this time around. I am. Good. Because I got a big quarter coming up. I need an A1 game from everybody. And nobody's going to have time to have any days off. Does that work for you? Yeah. It's just that Fee is having a play in the next few months, and I would just need an evening off for that. Other than that, I should be... Emily, I don't think that's going to happen. All hands have to be on deck 24-7. So tell me, do we have a deal? Emily! It's been a long time. What are you doing here? I just came to apply for the VP position, or I guess junior manager position. <sighs> it might be a little bit early to say, but I think we'll be working together again. Oh, actually, today was my last day. Are you serious? I thought you were the one who took the VP role. Mark offered it to me, but I turned it down. Why? Because I want to have a life. And I realize I can if I keep working here. But you don't have a husband or a kid to worry about, and the money's really great. I want my nights, my weekends, my vacations. I want to be able to enjoy myself. No amount of money is worth giving that up for. If you don't mind me asking, where'd you end up landing? Nowhere. I started looking around, but I realized everyone was signing the same tone. Below average salary, PTO, healthcare, retirement. So instead, I'm gonna launch my own firm. Really? That's amazing. It's scary, but yeah, I'm excited. I spoke with my best clients and most of them are coming with me. Gosh, I wish I had the courage to do what you're doing. I always wanted to start my own thing. You know, I could use a partner. There's no way I'll be able to do everything by myself. Really? That's sweet of you, but I already accepted Mark's offer. Are you sure? Your research on the McKenzie Group could really come in handy. I know you had some ideas on how they could reshape their business. Why not use it for ourselves? I don't know. That sounds kind of risky. Sorry, one sec. Hello, Mark? What's up? 6 a.m.? But I don't start until 9. I need that time to drop off my... Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be there. Let me ask you something. Do you really want life to go back to the way things used to be? Working long hours, being chained to the desk without any acknowledgement that you're a person? Honestly, not at all. Then let's create a workplace we actually want to work at. You really think we could have it all? I know we can. Okay, let's do it. Hello. Hi. Emily Jones, she in? Sure, if you'd like to have a seat, I can see if she's available. Oh, sir? Emily, there you are. Mark, what are, you, what are you doing here? I think you know. About a month ago, I got an email from the McKenzie Group telling me that my firm well, they didn't need my services anymore. Now imagine my surprise when I realized where they had gone to. <laughs> oh, you guys, you got your nerve. You think you're gonna steal my clients? <laughs> you're more than welcome to take it up with legal. We did our research. non companies are binding in California. Oh, did you? Well, we'll see about that. 
You can figure it out for yourself. Business affairs is through there, past daycare. Daycare. <laughs> that's, that's a joke, right? I mean, who does daycare at home? Hey, Mark. I'm surprised to see you here. For you're here to congratulate Emily and Liza on starting their own firm. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. When Emily pitched their ethos, we knew we had to be on board. Yeah, it was a no-brainer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, yeah. Of course. So, uh, Emily, what, what are you talking about? These two came by to deliver the good news, and we got to talking, and they mentioned that they saw the same problems in our business as some of their other clients. They wanted to overhaul the idea and create new policies so employees would have a work-life balance, starting with their own firm. What, what are they talking about? Daycare for our in-office working parents, unlimited PTO, dental and medical, flexible schedules, and of course, remote work. Oh. Well, c come on, Emily, you gonna tell me a couple snowflake policies are gonna change your company around? <laughs> Actually. They already have. We implemented all of their suggested policies, and I gotta tell you, employee morale and productivity have never been higher. I mean, we have more applicants for our open positions now than we've ever had. I mean, they're geniuses. These two are miracle workers. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just a mom on a mission to spend more time with my kid. And have a life outside the office? You know, Mark, you should look into contracting their consulting services. I mean, I hear your turnover's pretty high. Yeah, how many reps did we cycle through when we were with your firm? Four, five? Anyway, we have a conference to attend. Good luck, Mark. <laughs> Mom, are you ready? It's almost four. I gotta get ready and be on stage soon. Just about, honey. Emily, I gotta hand it to you. You created this whole thing and you're even off before five. It's family over everything. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. It was good seeing you, Mark. Same here, Emily. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Olaf, did Elsa make you? Yeah, why? I'll tell you why. We need Elsa to bring back Summer. Summer? Oh, I've always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I guess you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. <laughs>